Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a quick video on keyboard shortcuts. Uh, specifically, I just want to talk about um, knowing what your keyboard shortcuts are and how to make new ones. Um, this is a question that comes up um, fairly regularly, so I just want to make sure that we all know how to do it. So, first off, if you hover your mouse over um, a tool or a button, you know, you're going to get this little yellow pop-up and next to it, um, if there's a keyboard shortcut, you'll see if you stop moving the mouse, you can see the shortcut for example, wall is W. Likewise, if you go up to a menu and you look at a menu option, if there's a keyboard shortcut, you'll see it there. Um, then you have to learn these little symbols. I think that's uh, option uh, on a Mac. Uh, okay, so if you want to make a new keyboard shortcut, we're going to go up to options, over to work environment, um, scroll all the way down to keyboard shortcuts. Uh, now there's three ways to look at your, your shortcuts. You can do current menu structure, all commands by theme, or all commands by alphabetical order. Let's go alphabetical order, um, and let's just randomly pick something. Um, how about pan? This actually is what got me to do this. Um, so we can select pan. Now over here under uh, click here and press desired shortcut, we select here. Now as we type in any numbers or any kind of combination of numbers, um, we're seeing the different keyboard shortcut there. And if I select the keyboard shortcut that is currently assigned to something else, it will tell me that. Now if I click assign anyways, it will delete that um, and assign it to my new keyboard shortcut. So let's say pan should be shift p. Um, I can go ahead uh, and hit assign and down here under window types can, it just talks about um, where the window type where the shortcut will function um, in only in the current um, window type or or all um, window types. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit assign there and then if we go back to shortcut schemes we'll notice that my scheme has gone to custom. If I wanted to overwrite uh, my save scheme, I did select that and hit um, redefine. I'm not going to do that. Um, but if we just go ahead and hit OK, now if we bring the mouse down to the bottom of the screen, pan, um, it's not showing up there, but let's see, shift P, now works as pan. Um, so that's pretty much it. The one other thing I want to say is if we go back to keyboard shortcuts, uh, another question that comes up is you just want to see where all your keyboard shortcuts are. So if we scroll down here at the bottom, keyboard shortcut preview, sh show shortcut list in browser, you can click that. It's going to open up your default browser, which for me is Firefox. And now here is all my um, keyboard shortcuts. So a lot of times for new users, I have them print this out and just you know, kind of mark off the ones they learn. Um, or, as you've probably also seen on my website, I'll have links on the blog post um, to my personal you know, 20 favorite shortcuts. And hopefully with this video, you can now redefine some of your favorites to match mine if you like what I'm doing. Uh, the last piece I will say, because this is already long enough, is at the bottom are a list of non-customizable shortcuts. So what's nice about ArchiCAD is everything up here, you can change and make whatever you want. But down here, like cancel operations, um, split and adjust, divide, zoom, all this stuff, it's, I guess you'd say, hard coding it into ARCHICAD. So escape will always be cancel. Uh, backspace will always um, cancel the operation or undo the last thing you did. Like if you're doing a string of um, polyline nodes, if you hit backspace or delete, it will go back one node. That you can't change. Um, that's all for today. Uh, hope you learned something, and um, yeah, talk to you soon.